Well, what's happening, y'all? Happy afternoon. Day 17 of the grind. I am on my way to open house, 120 Montclair Loop, Daphne, Alabama. And uh, going to have an open house from 2 to 4. And going to have a good time. And what I've been working on today is, of course, we had the... Um, I had the kids all morning, so the struggle's real of not being able to do realty, real, be a realtor like super duper, quadruple, extra, over the top guy. The, uh, so I played with Elle all morning. Harper was with Grammy most of the morning, but I also worked on Kelly's computer. She has a MacBook Pro and the hard, I'm pretty sure the hard drive crashed on it. It won't, pretty much won't do anything. We've only got into the utility section of it twice. I've tried a couple different things. So, worked on worked on it last night a little bit. And uh, stayed up too late. So, kind of slept in. Didn't get to wake up at 5. Got up at 6 when Eleanor woke up. I got up right before Eleanor got up. But, the good thing is, I woke up, still woke up early. A little upset. I didn't get to wake up at 5. But, that's okay. I wanted to do some CE trainings and some look through more houses in Mobile for one of my clients that I have. I will be doing that at the open house, or if nobody should, if, I'll be, I'll do that in between the open house and the uh, clients coming in. Also, I'll end up doing it probably before, um, before dinner and maybe a little bit after dinner. Hi, Laura. And the, uh, so hopefully the hope, open house goes good. I got the, or the, um, yeah, the iPad that I'm going to use for the open house sign-in sheet. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Once they sign in there, it goes into my CRM. And I can email them, text them, do anything I want from it. And set them up on some automatic alerts. And set them up on a few other things. I just noticed a couple of houses in my neighborhood have open houses also. Must be a good day for an open house. Right before the two hurricanes come in. I don't know if everybody's been watching them. I just started kind of looking at them today. We're actually kind of like last night, a little bit this morning, where one might go to Louisiana, I might go to Texas, one might come in about Wednesday. So if you have not got gas or anything yet, you probably want to get gas. I have a quarter tank. I will probably get gas today. And that should last me about a week, week and a half. So we should be okay. It just says category one hurricane, so we should be okay. As far as like a bunch of like, there's not gonna be too much damage. It might be a little bit of wind or some trees knocked down or something. Um, hopefully, we keep power and nothing crazy happens, and we can still get groceries and we can still get gas. If the hurricane does come here, this will be the first hurricane that actually hits where I'm at in the seven years that we've been here. So, kind of hoping it does a turn. Maybe I could keep this street going. You know, seven, eight years, make it keep it going for like 10 years. But it's 2020, so who knows what can happen. And the uh, gas price hasn't gone up, I just looked at. But uh, hopefully, those two storms don't connect each other. Then, then it'll be into some crazy stuff there. The perfect storm, two hurricanes colliding and just making one giant, huge hurricane. But back to real estate, my goal for this week, I have set some goals up. I am going to find my buyer a house in Mobile. I am going to connect with the other buyer that I have. I want to sit down and do a buyer's consultation with her. I am going to do that this week. And then I'm going to do a training on Tuesday on how to do Facebook ads. I've seen it once, but I want to do it again. He's actually going to walk us all the way through it. I'm pretty sh I think I know how I'm going to be able to do it. What's up, Blaine? And, uh, but it's always good to have a refresher on Facebook ads. Everything changes, like, every month, it seems like, with Facebook ads. And I think I feel confident in running some ads here pretty soon. Hopefully this week to try and get some new buyer leads and start working on my presentation over the phone and my networking skills and my, um, over the phone selling skills hopefully uh i mean fairhope is just crazy right now fairhope daphne like a couple of the other realtors in the 
in the office, they've listed two houses and they both they're both under contract within like four days. Some within a week, some within two weeks. The house I'm going to has been on a month and hopefully we can get that thing going here pretty soon. And as far as I know, look, there's another open house. As far as I know, like the market isn't slowing down down here. So if you ever thought about moving to Alabama, Baldwin County, Mobile County, like drive over here and let's go look at some houses. Like it's not going away. It's pretty awesome. The housing market's crazy. Got to be quick on the draw though to get the a really nice house. Um, but those are my goals for this week and Tuesday and Wednesday, Thursday, Friday be in the office and Monday, Tuesday, I'll probably be in the office from about 3.30 to 5, maybe 5.30, maybe stay a little later and just to hang out with everybody and do some trainings and just learn from everybody that is around. I've been learning a lot from Marcus Walker. He tells them today, every day, every day I learn something new from him, which is awesome. And yesterday I learned the kind of like the struggle of finding somebody a house. Um, we looked at three in a price range and you know, one, none of them really jumped out at them. So hopefully the next three or four houses I find for them that hopefully one of them will jump out. And you know, it's just one of those things. It's gonna be awesome to just keep going, keep pushing. And you know, well, I know, I know it'll be worth it once we find the house that they actually want. It's gonna like it's gonna be so fulfilling and exciting and just eye opening just to be able to see the change in the the other person after after they found that find that perfect house. So I can't wait to share it with y'all. I am gonna document as much as I can. Like Jason Will says, document, document, document. Even Gary Vaynerchuk says document, document, document. Don't create it, just document it. And it's real life. If the lighting's not right, don't worry about it. Just shoot it. And if you don't have anything super, super duper mind blowing to say, just go ahead and say what you gotta say, anyways. And hopefully, it brings some value. Just about anything. I mean, anything can be value. You know, just going through the daily struggles of having kids and trying to work from home. You know, it seems like every time I get on the computer. Eleanor wants to start going crazy. Like, Daddy, give me attention. Uh, and that happens. I know it's going to happen. And we don't have our office doors on our office, so that's really going to happen. But, all right, I'm going to get off here. The wife was calling. So, uh, everybody have a great day, and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.